Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to compare functions with proportional relationships that are displayed as tables, graphs, and equations. We can interpret the equations, tables, and graphs of proportional relationships to compare different data. Let's look at an example. Harley wants to go to the arcade with his friends after school. They are having trouble deciding between Ollie's Arcade and High Point Gaming. Harley suggests they go to the arcade that costs less. Here, you see a graph that represents the cost for Ollie's Arcade and an equation that represents the cost of High Point Gaming. How can we determine the cheaper arcade? First, we should note that the graph is linear, that is, a straight line, and the equation is a linear equation. Because this is so, we can confirm that the slope will tell us the unit rate. So let's take a look. We can find the slope of a graph a couple of different ways, but I will use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I see that 0 and 2, 3 are points on my graph, so I will plug these into my formula. 3 minus 0 is 3, and 2 minus 0 is 2. 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. The slope is 1.5, and since this is the unit rate, I can conclude that Ollie's Arcade charges $1.50 per hour. This number is also oftentimes referred to as the rate of change, or the constant rate of change, since the rate, or slope, is constant. Okay, now let's take a look at the equation for high point gaming. This equation is in the form y equals mx, where m represents the slope. Since the slope is 2, the unit rate is 2, which tells me that high point charges $2 per hour. If Harley and his friends want to go to the less expensive arcade, they should choose Ollie's Arcade. Let's take a look at another example. Here, you will see the data pertaining to the growth of both a sunflower and a tomato plant. We want to figure out which plant grows at a faster rate. So let's see. We are trying to figure out the rate of each plant. I see that both sets of data show the plant's growth over a period of days. It will be most beneficial if we can find the unit rate, or the rate at which each plant grows per one day. We learned a couple of different names for unit rate. Rate of change constant rate of change, and slope. Yes, slope. If we can figure out the slope of both sets of data, then we can answer the question. Let's take a look at the sunflower. I'm going to write the equation that represents this table because I think it will help me determine the slope. If I multiply each of the x values by 1.25, I see that I get the corresponding y value. Therefore, my equation is y equals 1.25x. I see the slope is 1.25, which means the constant rate of change, or unit rate, that the sunflower grows is 1.25 inches, or 1 and a quarter inches per day. Alright, I want to know how many inches the tomato plant grows in one day. To do that, I will calculate the slope. Slope, or m, is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I will choose the point 0, 0, which will represent x1 and y1, and 4, 3, which will represent x2 and y2. Then we can plug these values into our equation. 3 minus 0 is 3, and 4 minus 0 is 4. The slope is 3 fourths, and so my unit rate is 3 fourths of an inch per day. Comparing the two, we see that the sunflower grows at a much faster rate than the tomato plant. Okay, your turn. The equation t equals 2.5p describes the cost of strawberries at the store where p is the number of pounds and t is the total cost. The table below shows the cost for various amounts of grapes. Which fruit costs less per pound? Take a minute and try to figure this one out. Remember to pause the video for more time. Okay, before we start, Let's address the equation t equals 2.5p here in the problem. You might have noticed the different variables t and p. That is okay. It is still in the form of y equals mx and will still give us the same information. They are just a little more specific in that the problem is using t for total cost and p for pounds. 
Okay, looking at this equation, however, we see the constant rate of change is 2.5. This tells us that the unit rate is $2.50 per pound of strawberries. Now let's take a look at the table. I know if I can write the equation that represents the table, then I can identify the unit rate. What can I multiply each of my x values by to get the corresponding y value? Well, if it's not apparent, we can use the inverse operation, or in this case division, to quickly figure it out. 3.70 divided by 2 is equal to 1.85. The same is true for the rest of the values. This means that if I multiply the x values by 1.85, then I will get the corresponding y values. 1.85 is the constant rate of change, and therefore my equation is y equals 1.85x, and the unit rate for the cost of grapes is $1.85 per pound. Comparing the two prices, I see that grapes cost much less. Nice work. Mm -hmm.